There. That's it. That's him. All right. I'm back. Give me a video. As always, you know, follow me on Twitter. Do the Facebook thing. Leave your little crybaby comments at the bottom. Or do your little nasty grams on my inbox. I'm back to keep shit real. Now, I'm going to talk about something that like, happened like a couple weeks ago. But it's still relevant to this day because of the compassion that was not shown by this jerk off. I'm going to talk about the New York Post cover. Where they have the cover of the Asian guy holding up to the... On the, on the platform when the, when the subway is about ready to come. And I'm talking about the fucking bastard who's taking pictures and like he didn't go to help this guy. And the, and the lame ass excuses that he gave why he couldn't help him. Now, this happened like a couple weeks, maybe a month ago, depending on when I load this video. There was a there was a, a guy, Asian guy, we're all Americans here, so there's a guy, and not the, this homeless black guy, I don't know if he was homeless or not, I guess he got an argument. Well, the black guy, or the guy allegedly pushed the other dude off of the ramp onto the, the subway rails itself or that area there and if you know if you ever seen a subway or know that's a that's a steep ass drop well unfortunately for this guy apparently there's nobody around him and number two there's a fucking train coming along so meanwhile this guy's this guy i would hate to be in his shoes because you know it's coming but what can you do but meanwhile, there's some photographer, you thinking, you know, you thinking he's going to help the guy out. Oh, let me be a good citizen and run over there. No, what does this jerk off do? This jerk off sitting there taking pictures, getting the shots for the cover of the New York Post. Granted, I'm glad it's not the fucking New York Jets on the cover of the New York Post, but I did not want to see this on the cover of the New York Post either. Because because th then, this, this incompassionate asshole is just taking pictures, trying to, because he, he doesn't do it for the New York Post. He's a freelancer, which means they pay him for those pictures. It doesn't mean he's employed with the Post. It means that the Post paid him for this pictures. Being a freelancer for myself, I know how that works. And at the end of the deal, at the, I mean, at the end of the day, every, he tried to tell people, he went on interviews saying, well, I couldn't, I was trying to, trying to tilt the camera so the train would see the flash. If you look at that picture, and I might try to put it up, if you look at that picture, look at the angle of where the camera's at. If, the, if he was trying to really alert the, alert the conductor, the angle of the picture, would not be from the half of the car where you can see inside the car on down. The picture would be more focused on the, the car, more of the car itself, seeing most of everything, not the guy on the bottom. The guy was full of bullshit. Dude probably, he, he probably did try, maybe alert the conductor me once or twice. The picture they showed, that was the, the, that excuse he gave was severe bullshit, because the way he took the picture, it was more focused on the passenger or the guy about ready to get killed. It wasn't aimed at the conductor. He said, he's saying, well, I was flashing the camera so the conductor could see me. No, the fuck you. You're flashing the camera to get a better fucking view and a better fucking picture. At the end of the day, this is how society has become. Like, and I'll grant this, I'll grant it. I'm known that I, I'm like, known I do videos and this and that, and I know, like, the way the picture's shot, it may look like he was close. He could have been far. I, I can't judge the distance. I'll be honest with you. Like, if you go on your zoom on your camera, it's on the top or whatever, you got zoom on your camera, he, he could have been a good distance. He could, might not have been able to get there. But if he was close enough to take the good picture as far as, as far as zoom wise, say he didn't have to zoom, he was pretty close. That dude's a bastard, man. He's no, he's no fucking good. He's a fucking creep. So, I'm just saying, man, the compassion is gone in America. Like, nobody wants to help nobody. You know, but we live in a country, like, with free speech. So, what you gonna do? So, I don't know. I'm out. Deuce. <laughs> oh, it's funny, because it's true. There. That's it. That's him.